Kant's Maths 5 Plus, page 31. Dear students, today we we'll learn grouping things together. Similar things can be grouped together. For example, teapot and cups are grouped together on the basis of serving tea. Similarly, jug and glasses are grouped together as drinking pots. Things which have similar purpose or use can be grouped together. In picture 1, you see teapot and cups. They are a group of tea serving pots. They have similar purpose. Both are used for serving tea to the guests. In picture 2, you see jug and glasses. They are a group of water serving pots. They have similar purpose. Both are used for serving drinks or water to the guests. Let's have some activity time. Match the things that can be grouped together due to their similar qualities. The only thing you have to do is to match things having similar purpose with each other. Match the table on left side with the chair on the right side. Both are furniture items. Match the coat on the left side with the pants on the right side. Both are wearing items. Match the spoon on left side with the plate or saucer on the right side. Both are kitchen items. Match the ball on the left side with the hockey on the right side. Both are sports items. Well done. Respectable teachers and parents assign more activities to children so that they may easily learn grouping things together. Show them charts and flashcards so that they may recognize groups of different things accordingly. Ask them to group all items in different groups from their immediate surroundings. Put an effort to develop thinking skill among children about how to group things together in certain groups. Encourage the children's efforts, appreciate their interest in learning about grouping things together and clap for them. Thank you.